Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn how to factory reset your router or switch and also how to do a password recovery if you've lost the enable password. So factory reset first. The way we do that, very simple, at the enable prompt, we use the write erase command. That will erase the startup config. You do that, you then reload the device and it will boot up with a blank configuration. There's no startup config, so the setup wizard will then run. Let's have a look at how to do this in the lab. So I'm on my router here, R1. If I do a show running config, you can see the host name is R1 there. And if I do a show startup config, the host name is also R1 in the startup config as well. So that has been saved. So what I'll do here is I'll go to global configuration and I'll say host name R2. And I'm not doing a copy run start yet. If I break back down to the enable prompt, if I do a show run, I've entered the command. So in the running config, the host name is R2. If I do a show startup config, you'll see I haven't saved it yet. I didn't do the copy run start yet. So that still host name R1 there. So if I rebooted now, it would come back up with the startup config. I would lose my unsaved changes and it would still have the host name R1. What this is useful for is if you lose connectivity to a device that you're working on remotely, you can't get to it anymore, you need to recover it, you can ask somebody in that office to pull the power out and put the power back in. It's not good because it does cause an outage, it's pretty embarrassing, but it's a way that you can get back onto that router or the switch again. Okay, so back to doing the factory reset. I just wanted to show you first about the running config and the startup config. If I wanted to factory reset this device, the command is, I'll do it in full for you, write erase. It will then tell you that this is gonna erase the NVRAM file system, which you know is where the startup config is saved. So I'll hit enter to confirm that. If I now do a show start, it will tell me that the startup config is not present, it was erased. And if I reload now and confirm that, it will take a minute to do the reload. And when it comes back up, I can see it's running the setup wizard because it's got no configuration. Okay, so that is how you do a factory reset on your router or your switch. We'll go back to the slides now and have a look about how to do the password recovery. First, you need to know about the configuration register. That is used to change the way that the router boots from the default. You can use the config-register command in global configuration mode, or if you're at the ROM on prompt where the router or switch hasn't completed booting yet, you can use the confreg command. For example, we could use config-register 0x2142 for that setting at global config, or confreg 0x2142 if we were at the ROM on prompt. There's several different configuration registers that you can use, probably the three most useful. First is 0x2102. That should be the default. The device will boot normally when that is the setting. Next one is 0x2120 will boot into ROM on mode. And lastly, 0x2142 will ignore the contents of NVRAM while booting, so it will ignore the startup config. Now there are other settings you can use as well, which will mostly change the baud rate, like the rate at which you connect to the device. I can't really think of any reason you would want to do that. So these are the three that you would commonly use. 
Okay, if we do need to do a password recovery, so this is where we've lost the enable prompt. So maybe it's a small company, we just had one administrator there before, and unfortunately they got hit by a bus, or more happily they've left the company and they didn't let anybody know what the enable password was before they left. Or just as likely is that if you're in a large company, you take a router or a switch out of a shelf, out of a cupboard somewhere, and you don't know what the enable secret is. So it is quite common that you will have to do this. Not day to day, but every once in a while in a real world environment, you will have to do a password recovery. The way you do it is first off, Google for the instructions for this. Because again, you're not gonna be doing it every day and unlikely you're gonna remember how to do this off the top of your head. I've done it probably hundreds of times and I still Google for the instructions whenever I need to do it. So first up is you don't have the enable password so you can't get into the device. So you need to reboot it. Then while it is rebooting, press the break sequence on the keyboard. That is commonly control break, but it depends on which software you're using to connect to the console. Again, you can Google if it's not control break. Okay, so do that during the first minute that the device is powering on, and that will break you into the ROM on prompt. You then enter the command confreg 0x2142 at the ROM on prompt, which says to ignore the startup config on boot. Now you're not deleting the startup config like when we did the factory reset. The startup config is still there and the full configuration, everything that was configured on that device is there as well, like IP addresses or whatever. And also the enabled secret is still there, which you don't know, but the router is not gonna use that startup config when it boots up. So you don't need to know what the enable secret is. You then enter reset at the ROM on prompt to boot the device. The router will boot up with no configuration, so it will enter the setup wizard. You then type no to bypass that. You then enter enable mode with the enable command. You're not going to be prompted for the enable secret because it's not in the current running configuration, which is blank. Next thing you need to do is copy the startup config to the running config. Do not forget that step. If you forget that step and you do everything else correctly, like it says here, you're going to end up factory resetting that device and you will lose the previous config. If you're doing a password recovery because the administrator left and you need to still have that configuration there, that would be a big mistake. Because you don't remember, don't forget, sorry, to copy the startup config to the running config at that point. That will copy the entire previous configuration into the running config, including the unknown enable secret. But you're already in enable mode, so you, again, you don't need to know what that enable secret was. You then enter a new enable secret in global configuration mode to overwrite the old one, and that will go into the current running config. Then enter config register 0x2102 so the router will boot normally on the next restart. Again, don't forget to do this either because if you do, every time you boot up, it will boot up with a blank config and you're going to think there's something seriously wrong with that router. If you ever get that symptom where every time you boot it up, it looks like it's been factory reset, it will be because the config register is set to 0x2102. Okay, and lastly, we copy run start to save the configuration, and you now are back to where you started, except you're logged in and you've got a new enable secret. Okay, so that's how we do the recovery procedure on a router. If you're on a switch, then it can be a little bit different depending on what model you're on. Also, some routers can be slightly different as well. So whatever kind of device it is that you need to recover, it will be very, very similar to those instructions I just showed you there, but it might be slightly different. So again, Google to get the instructions and just follow the instructions to do the password recovery. Okay, let's have a look at how to do this in the lab next. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free, 
right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.